I'm Kerry Fink with Helping Seniors Update on behalf of our president and founder, Joe Steckler and Kim Bernard, our uh, education specialist. Welcome to Helping Seniors Updates. Here we are at the start of a brand new week. It's uh, Monday. It's the 14th of September and hope you had a good, enjoyable and safe weekend. Uh, as we've been talking about, uh, some of the COVID uh, precautions or restrictions rather are being relaxed just a bit. I know that uh, uh, we had had a conversation with Sharice Durham of Hibiscus Court where uh, we had talked about the fact that literally beginning tomorrow, uh, the governor's uh, restrictions will allow them to very carefully take a few uh, family member visitors and things like that uh, physically into the building, although still with a lot of safety precautions and things like that. So I thought it would be great. And thank you, Dr. Kevin Kilday of Holistic Health Center for joining us today. I thought it'd be great to talk a little bit uh, further because you have been a, a real good guiding light <laughs> through a lot of this. Uh, first of all, in what you do with the Christian counseling world, but also what you do with the Holistic Health Center, a doctor of, of natural healing and, and those kind of uh, things. Uh, in fact, you're connected with a college of natural healing. Uh, you have a good insight into the things that help us. Uh, we've talked about everything from keeping your immunity up through, uh, through COVID times to uh, managing uh, things that will help us uh, feel better uh, during these times in terms of mood and things like that. And today, I guess we're going to take a look and talk a little bit about the pandemic effects on our relationships. How are you, Dr. Kevin? I'm doing good. You know, thank you for having me. And um, I've just been, you know, been keeping busy with, uh, with the college and uh, my Holistic Health Center. And uh, that just keeps me busy uh, every day. <laughs> yeah, and we were talking about it, particularly um, uh, we did a radio show a couple of weeks back uh, where we were talking about the issues that uh, seniors have faced through this COVID, you know, it seems like fairly early on, they got a good handle on the medical aspects of how to stay safe, you know, uh, and to be honest, it doesn't look like much has changed from those original CDC guidelines about uh, social distancing, um, washing of the hands, um, don't go out if you feel under the weather at all, uh, wear your mask, all those kind of things have really seemed to have been able to be effective at keeping us safe medically. But then as we were talking about on the radio, Dr. Kevin, is, you know, the challenges with isolation and people not getting to see their loved ones and, and, and all of that part. So we talked about that. And I guess that's maybe what we're going to talk a little bit about today, because uh, this is the article that you've got go coming into the Helping Seniors newsletter for the October edition of the Helping Seniors newsletter, which is found in the center section of Senior Scene Magazine. And, you know, uh, John Fredrickson, who's the publisher of that, uh, he gets out there with, you know, up to 14,000 copies of that magazine every month into 500 locations. So it reaches a lot of people. And we hear anecdotally from people who call in all the time. They see an article and they tell us how it helped them. And so I think this article is going to be helpful, pandemic effects on our relationships. But what would you, how would you kind of highlight or what are some of the points that you, you hope people will get from that? Well, you know, because of the, um, you know, this, the social distancing, uh, the, the quarantine, um, uh, you know, just being, you know, very, uh, you know, cautious, um, you know, about everything you do, because, you know, of course, nobody wants to, you know, to get to COVID because it, you know, in a lot of cases, it can be, you know, life threatening, you know, so, um, so I, it just came to me, uh, you know, of course, I always, um, you know, as being a believer, I, I like to get, you know, the, the word from my Lord and Savior. So um, I was, um, uh, you know, you're just, you know, just thinking about, well, well, what can I write about this, uh, this upcoming issue? And, um, and I said, well, I already covered the, you know, the, the physical part of things, you know, the mental health part of things. But what was most important, though, you know, I think in everything that we do is, is family. I mean, uh, and, um, uh, you know, I, I would never, uh, you know, personally would want to be in a situation where, you know, I'd be in a facility uh, for rehab or just in my, in my real senior years of needing some assistance for daily care. Um, but, but, you know, but having family, like, not be able to visit me, mm -hmm. 
you know, would, you know, would really be devastating. So I could imagine what, uh, you know, what's happening to, um, to a lot of these seniors in, you know, in the assisted living facilities. And, um, you know, and, and in my research, I mean, I even found something that, uh, you know, of course, you know, stress and depression and anxiety, I mean, that is all up and it affects our immune system and, you know, it, 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 it damages our, our body, but also, you know, a loneliness. I mean, they found that, um, you know, that, 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 you know, that, that loneliness actually um, affects our lifespan uh, equal to, uh, to, to smoking cigarettes and uh, obesity. Wow. So, um, uh, you know, it, because uh, it's just the isolation and just uh, being alone and, and not being uh, able to interact with, uh, uh, with people in general. I mean, not necessarily family, but just being able to interact uh, with, with maybe other people in, in a facility or interact, uh, uh, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a very, very uh, tough time. And, uh, um, you know, and, you know, it's just overall on relationships. It's not just the, it's not just the elderly. I mean, of course, um, uh, you know, there's been so many things, you know, news clips and stuff where, where, um, you know, you both have been stricken with with COVID, but that they both survive. But uh, they're in different hospitals, and they haven't seen each other in months. I mean, that's I mean, that's that's tough. I mean, that's really tough. So, um, but you know, uh, but I think in something like that, though, I mean, during a time when they're separated is very tough. But but once they get back together, I'm sure their relationship is really you know, bonded, especially, you know, the elderly who's been together for 40 or 50, 60 years, you know, of marriage. But, um, but it, you know, it's just, you know, f you know, just family is, uh, you know, it's so, in, you know, it, it's so important. And, uh, you know, and it gives us strength, too. I mean, at least having someone in the family, a family member, you know, it could be a mentor, it could be just a, uh, you know, almost like a, uh, like a counselor to you, or, you know, if, if, if they're your mother or if they're your sister or if they're, if you, if they're your brother, I mean, um, uh, you know, of course, um, uh, you know, and like I said, you know, but, but I mean, that's just, uh, the, the positive things, but on, you know, on the downside too, um, uh, I'm sure uh, I was, re I was reading an article this morning about, uh, well, actually in, in, from China and, um, uh, and I just read it real quickly, but, but, but they're saying, uh, and I didn't get a chance. I was going to research it in, in, the, in this country, mm -hmm. but they say that the divorce rate, uh, or people filing for divorce ever since the Corona has really, uh, got, got, uh, very high over in China. You know, I don't know what it's like here and when you're working at home and you got your you know, you, you're, 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 uh, if you're a mother and you have, I mean, a parent that has, you know, young or, or teenagers or whatever living with you, they're not back at school. I mean, how much stress can one person take? I mean, you're trying to do your job and you got, you're trying to watch kids. You're trying to get your, your significant other, you know, out to find some work. And, you know, I mean, that's just one scenario. I mean, there's hundreds of them, you know? Yeah, no. Everything you're talking about, it, it's it's all it's all makes sense because everybody's life has been uh, shifted in such a in such an amazing way that none of us expected. I mean, we we were talking about this earlier, but if you had told us uh, as the bell rang into uh, uh, 2020 that you know, hey, listen, you're going to spend most of the year in this coronavirus lockdown, we would have been like. What? What are you talking about? And so I think that's one of the reasons why uh, I know that we've seen from the helping senior side, Kim Bernard, our education specialist, you know, is spending more and more time with callers. Um, we always are inundated with calls about lots of things, everything from uh, financial to legal to um, transportation to medical questions to uh, housing questions. I mean, the, just the list goes on. It's why this organization is so important. We've helped more than 3,200 families uh, free of charge uh, to date through uh, the charity uh, side of everything that goes on with helping seniors. But I was thinking like, then we throw this thing called COVID on top of it. And now you have all these uh, additional, like I would call them just, just 
factors that you have to consider, you know, uh, the social distancing and everything like that. Although again, the plus side seems to be, we've learned medically that we have a pretty good shot at keeping everybody safe when we do all the things. And I think that's why what you are doing as Holistic Health Center is really so important because you have always specialized um, in helping people through difficult uh, situations. I mean, you have a, a, a whole a holistic cancer therapy protocol that you work with. You've been involved in addiction uh, recovery, and you've also been involved in helping people get through pain relief all through uh, holistic means. And I guess the question for today is how do people, they, they talk, to, it's best if they talk to you on a one-to-one -one basis, you're able to meet with them either at your office, uh, safely social distancing, or even via Zoom. Tell us a little bit about Holistic Health Center and how people get in touch with you. Well, uh, you know, first to start out with, uh, you know, our phone number is 321-549-0711. Uh, uh, you know, I'm the one uh, that answers the phone. If you don't get me, you'll get voicemail. And I'll always try to call you back by the end of the business day. Um, or even on weekends, I'm available. Um, so they can, they can call me. And I, uh, you know, if they're ready to make an appointment, um, or, or even if not, you know, I usually spend between 10 and 15 minutes, you know, on the phone with them. Right. Uh, to, to, um, it's like a mini screen. You, you just see where they're at and see if I if I can help them. Sure. Um, you know, or just just give them some guidance or a referral. I do that quite a bit too. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so you know, the, the 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 initial phone call, of course, is free, and you get me on the phone. <laughs> um, and I you know I meet them on a one to one basis, either at um, uh, the the nineteen hundred building is my, my my most busiest location. And uh, which is right in Melbourne, right on US one, and um, uh, you know I see them on a on a one to one basis. I just ask them to you know to wear a mask if they could, as well as I'm wearing a mask also. And it's a it's a good sized room, and they they can sit you know six feet or more right. uh, away from me. So uh, you know, and 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 also you know the room is cleaned uh, you know periodically throughout the day. So. You know, we're following all you know safety protocols. Right. right. Um, so, uh, so I'm I'm still doing you know one to one consultations. Uh, and, you know, I even did one yesterday up in the, uh, the my Merritt Island um, office, which is actually a church. Uh -huh. and, um, so I see you know I'm seeing people uh, you know up in the north end of mm -hmm. things, either uh, in Merritt Island uh, or at a location in Vieira. That's good. So. Um, uh, so again, I want to remind you as we kind of uh, get, court, get toward the end of today's Helping Seniors Update that you want to look for uh, Dr. Kevin Kilday's articles. You know, it's funny, in the September issue uh, of the Senior Scene magazine where you're looking for in the center section, it's, we call it the yellow pages because it's uh, got a yellow distinctive border around it and it's called the Helping Seniors Newsletter. And Joe Steckler, our founder and president, uh, almost from day one, it wanted to make sure there was a good way for us to get information in the hands of people where it would make difference. And you have a good article in this month's edition. I'm talking about the September edition of Senior Scene Magazine called Overcoming Crippling Fear During the Pandemic. And what I, what I, I thought that was important, it, it, it mirrors what we talked about on the radio. And by the way, folks, all of these materials are available on the Helping Seniors website. Let me give you that. It's helpingseniorsofbrevard.org, helpingseniorsofbrevard.org. You can find the television shows that uh, Dr. Kevin uh, Kilday and I have done in the past. where We've covered some really important aspects of holistic health. You can find uh, the, the Helping Seniors newsletter. You can hear that radio show that we were talking about. But then this article that you've got coming up, which is going to go in the October edition, uh, the one that we've been talking about, the pandemic effect on our relationships. Really good, good reading material. So <clears throat> I want to encourage you to take a look at that. And um, thanks, Dr. Kevin, for spending the time with us. Real quickly, before we wrap up, going to shift and just give a quick update on the Helping Seniors Car Raffle. You know, we are now inside the four-week mark. Uh, October 10th is the grand drawing for that Helping Seniors Car Raffle. 
It's going to be on Saturday, October 10th. We're going to do everything Facebook Live, YouTube Live. We're going to be broadcasting directly from that amazing place, the American Muscle Car Museum. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do crowds that day because we're still under this COVID lockdown stuff, but uh, we will make sure that your ticket, when you get your ticket, you got a shot at winning the car. You're certainly helping seniors, but you will definitely be able to also attend the American Muscle Car Museum because owner Mark Pylock has generously said, I'm going to give open up the museum on, on actually several different dates, like three different dates, where I will welcome helping seniors ticket car raffle ticket holders to come by and really take their time and enjoy everything at the museum. So as soon as the governor relaxes precautions enough that we're able to do that, then those dates are forthcoming and your tickets are sort of rain checked for that day. But on the 10th, somebody is going to pick up keys to a new 2020 uh, Chevrolet Camaro, 2020 Dodge Challenger, 2020 Kia Sportage, or a 2020 Mazda Miata and would uh, love to see that be you. How do you do it? You get your car raffle ticket. One is 25 or five is a hundred dollar donation to helping seniors. Three ways you can get them. Number one, is you can uh, go to helpingseniorscarraffle.com, helpingseniorscarraffle.com. Number two, call Kim Bernard in our office at 321-473-7770. She will be happy to help you uh, get set up, 321-473-7770. You can also pick them up uh, directly at any of the Boniface Hires dealerships around the county. And I think, actually, I forgot a fourth one, Dr. Kevin. Didn't we send you with some tickets? If you're, if you, if yes, you... I was going to say that. Uh, yes, <laughs> I have, uh, you know, some tickets also, uh, you know, available for sale. Um, uh, you know, whatever's convenient for you, I can meet you, uh, you know, somewhere in Palm Bay or Melbourne or at my 1900 building, uh, you know, to, to get you the tickets, uh, you know, and, I can also process the credit cards on, uh, uh, you know, on, um, uh, you know, remotely or uh, just call it in. Yeah. And, um, you know, so, uh, you know, I have tickets available, yes. So, and let's give that number one more time for your office. Yeah, my office is 321-549-0711. My website is holistichealthcenter.us. And... Um, I have offices in uh, uh, Melbourne, Vieira, and Merritt Island uh, for your convenience. And um, I can help people, uh, you know, I specialize in the alternative cancer therapies and uh, uh, also with, uh, uh, I have a holistic addictions therapy program uh, and really with anybody with any chronic condition looking for, uh, you know, alternative measures to uh, make them feel, um, you know, more comfortable. Yes, I think it's a great idea. Give Dr. Kevin Kilday a call uh, and, and have that conversation. And uh, while you've got him on the phone, say, hey, I need some Helping Seniors car raffle tickets, by the way. So with that, Dr. I'm Kevin, also doing Zoom also. Oh, yes, right. You're, you're well, here you're in the high tech world as well. So yes, definitely. that's a new thing uh, with my practice that I can, uh, uh, you know, do everything, uh, you know, with a Zoom, um, uh, you know, session and, you um, uh, so, uh, you know, that's available also. So Good. Go give me a call. Good. Well, with that in mind, then we'll, we're going to wrap up for today. Thank you for joining us for helping seniors update. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Hope you have a great week until then. Okay. Thank you.